Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Back to the Future the game for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off. We're outside the speakeasy back in 1931 and we've got to try and figure out a way to get through the door using the password. I think we're on the right track. We're going to jump straight in and do it Who and see if we can get in. So the idea I'm thinking is that the response has got to rhyme with the question in some way. One of the words has got to rhyme. We did two last time, but failed on a third one. So, the King of Siam. <coughs> uh, Bruce Springsteen, Doris Day, am I? Si I am, am I? Maybe. Am I? What will you do if there's a raid? A raid. Read a book. Row my back. Radio for help, perhaps? Raid? Sidle up to your boss. Lego your ego. Jump for joy. Wait till Wednesday. I'm thinking it's radio for help. Radio for help? Where are you going? Where are you going? In Gorewood, maybe? Borneo? Livermore, Rome, Hattiesburg, Hill Valley. Going. None of these sound like going, do they? Um, Inglewood? Inglewood. Welcome to L Kid, sir. Yeah, there we go. I'm not really sure how that one rhymed. That was a guess, to be honest with you. Uh, but we've got him. We pretty much figured that out in the last one, didn't we? But we've definitely figured it out now. Wow, this place has been done up since the last one. L Kid. Hi. Nothing Ladies suspicious about me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about. Am I uh, right? So creep. let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. Heh, <laughs> he's on piano. He's actually a right piano. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorry. It's Parker. That's the guy we needed, isn't it? Right, okay, so should we just start talking to what are these pictures? Caricatures, they're pretty cool. Squashed in his prime. Alright, guys, they've knocked off, I'm guessing. Um can we talk to these guys? Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? He's not too smart, is he? Michael Corleone. He doesn't remember us. Uh, I'm a stranger here. I'm one of you. I'm a local guy. I'm a stranger here. Nobody. I mean, you don't know me. I, I come from a, a very different place. Come on. What's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Yeah, I'm with so? the Valenti gang. Yep. Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some boner fides. Okay, can we talk Wait, to matches? You ain't leaving till I get the dope on you. You really with the Valenti gang? Yeah, um, how are we gonna... Right, hey, we need to get something to show him. Uh, give me a drink. About these caricatures on the wall, what are you drawing? Scene Officer Parker, tell me about Trixie. Uh, give me a drink. I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Pepsi. Uh, on second thought, Pepsi, he was going to say. Yourself. Other soft drinks are available. Um, about these caricatures so on the about wall. About this uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of right. having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. So his name's the guys Irving. The kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like, and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a uh, I what? Mean, that's a coincidence, it? A isn't it? Substantial coincidence. Coinky dink. Um, okay, what are you drawing? What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this I mean, goes He's pretty away. good. Uh, can you draw me? Think you can do a caricature of me? Sure. Let's see. Come on. 
See what you got, buddy. Presto! That really huh. doesn't look like me. I didn't I mean, have hair looks a bit weird. Uh, okay, have you seen Officer Parker? I'm looking for a cop named Parker. Then this is your lucky night. He's sitting next to you. Another Coinky Dink. Him? Yep. Quite a sob story, that guy. Sob story? Why? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dame troubles, psychiatric troubles. You name wow. it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. Sounds like a troubled guy. Um, tell me about Trixie. What can you tell me about Trixie? You trying to put the moves on kids, dame? No way. No. Good, because if you did, I'd probably be hanging you on the wall of honor. Know what I mean? I thought those were coincidences. Um, about you then. So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. Mister, I ain't had a cold in over two months. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. Wrong guy. So, why was he sneezing? Hmm. Thanks for the talk. Okay. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Yeah, all right. Jeez. Um, right, let's talk to Parker. Hey, I know you. You're... Parker. Ask for Danny, Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look familiar. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. Ah, thanks. I've got a theory. I'm just going to run through this with you guys before we do this. I think what he saw with the DeLorean has caused him to think he's going mad or something. And now he's turned to drinking as a way of trying to cope. Let's see. But that's my gut instinct. By showing him the DeLorean disappearing, I think we screwed him up. Okay, so you've got troubles? I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy... Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... I knew it! I called it, didn't I? I'm actually really proud of myself. <laughs> sad, isn't it? A little bit sad. Now, about those troubles... Proud of myself for figuring that out. want to wallow in misery? I came here to get happy. Looks like the detective skills we used in L.A. Noir are still there somewhere. Um, okay, get Tannen. Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. Besides, if I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much got a work point. for one little cop like me. Uh, stop drinking. Should you be drinking so much on duty? Probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. <laughs> Man, that's a fair argument. Tell me your troubles. I don't know if there's anything else. About those troubles. Troubles? Let's try it again. Ha! I don't want to talk about all that depressing stuff. I want to party! Whee! Okay, so maybe we've got to do something to get him to talk. Here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen? tonight it's gonna be difficult um should we see what's going on over here what's this the shrew didn't burrow deep enough <laughs> um can't talk to this lady over here can talk to the croupier 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 i never know how to say that you win why not i haven't got any money have i uh Bet on black, bet on red, bet on even, bet on odd, bet on double zero. Double zero. Two. Eh. Eh. I mean, do we have any more money or can we just play unlimited games? You win? Yeah. Uh, let's bet on red. I'm gonna put it all on red. Two. Why is it two every time? Right, let's go even. You win. I wonder if there's like some dodgy fixing or something going on here. Even's my lucky number. Watch this not come out as two now. Twenty-one. This isn't my game. Twenty-one. Hmm. Let me try betting on odd. You win. Let's go odd. Let's go for odds. Twenty-eight. 
26. Ah. We seem to be losing every single game. Not sure if there's something funny going on here. Uh, right, let's go up this bit then. Uh, what have we got here? Trixie, poster, microphone, lyrics for I, I don't, don't care. care. It's the lyrics to her song. Okay, do we actually have any items apart from that caricature? We have that scratch sheet. Chloroform is empty. We've got the lighter. Uh, can we talk to Trixie? Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least it would if I had a dressing room. Okay, what's a nice girl like you? What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some. Hey, Toots, any chance you could sing that can can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your uh, assets. <sighs> Whatever you say, kid. Wow, this and guy. Quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. I haven't even drunk anything, ma'am. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about There's some resentment again? there, isn't there? Definitely. Uh, why do you stay with Kid? You were telling me what a great guy Kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with insurance, him. Insurance, eh? Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know. You don't break up with a creep like Kid without something to keep him from going all crazy hmm. on you. Okay, what's this insurance policy? What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Who's Artie that? McFly. Artie McFly. Oh, Artie. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, ah. accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow really? this? Sure. I wonder if we can give that I to Einstein. I've been working on my get out of kid card for weeks now. But Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like kid, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, turn on him. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... <gasps> F-L-Y. Fair enough. Um, I can find him for you. Hey, if I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. Ah. I'll see what I can do. Right, I bet we've got to use the pipe with Einstein. Uh, about the Wall of Fame. Nice caricatures up there, huh? Yeah, Zane's an ace cartoonist, but it's kind of hard for me to look at all those faces knowing the guys they belong to are all six feet under. Uh, nice voice. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh yeah, sore throat. That's why I'm okay. giving Cube all so many extended solos tonight. Well, I kind of wondered good. about that. Uh, do you take requests? You know, Sister Christian... I don't do religious tunes. <laughs> How about Stairway to Heaven? I sing popular songs, kiddo. You want hymns? Go to a church. <laughs> uh, Officer Parker digs your singing. Hey, your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. That's such a canned response. Uh, what are you doing? I don't care. But what are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Okay. Um, Break right, so... Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc. If you say so. Well, I guess we've got to get Artie for know that to world work. famous, but she's not a bad entertainer. What's going on in this alcove over here? Hello. Hey, you. Are you talking to me? Wow, why is it talking yeah, like that? Jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Oh, lay off, Ernie. He's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, Think Ernie. You can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? Um, yeah, I think I can. Maybe. What are you gonna do about it, chicken? Oh, that's, that's convincing. It. You're a toast. <laughs> <laughs> Good Looks punch like there, you mate. Need to cool off for a few. 
didn't do anything. It's that guy. He needs to cool off. Oh, he is. Bye bye. Can we talk to this lady now? Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess we can talk to her. Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. Oh, water under the bridge. You want to keep his seat warm? Uh, thanks anyway. No, we don't. Um, can we say anything on the microphone? Can we sing? Is he actually going to sing? Wow, he is. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> hey! I do the singing round here. Johnny, be good. If you've seen the movie, then you'll know. Sheet music, eh? Whisper in my ear. Uh, okay, can we... Secret song? What's that? So do we choose what he plays? Right. Ah, oh, that affects him. Right. So, did that make him drink? So, whatever she sings has an effect on Officer Parker. Danny. You. Uh, tell me your troubles. Those troubles. I, I'm not really in the mood to talk about them right now. I just want to drink and listen to Trixie. Okay. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Let's let her finish her song then. Can we do anything with this? I don't care. Can we swap this with that? Nah. No. Uh, okay. Can we talk to Cubal? Hey, back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Okay, so we definitely can't talk to him. So I wonder if is that Bank Slot Charlie? Oh, from the board. I guess someone jumped him. We can look at them all. Looks like someone's about to be added to Tannen's Wall of Fame. Poor bastard. I wonder if we can add our picture there. I always wanted to be famous. We can. Question is, what do we add Not it as? Bunch. Not a pretty bunch. Nothing, apparently. So she's done singing, so now can we talk Danny. to him? You. Tell me so the troubles, man. Troubles. Eh, I'm not really in the mood to talk about him right now. I just want to drink and listen to Trixie. Okay, so I'm See wondering later, if we've Danny. got to pick the here. right song. Because there's a bunch of different options here, isn't there? So if we pick the right song, maybe he'll tell us. Um, let's see. I don't care. Angry song. Sad song. Secret song. Happy song. Can we go for the happy song? Maybe that will make him more likely to talk. If he's in a good mood. Let's try it. What effect is that going to have on him? Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? I wonder why the singing's so quiet compared to the rest of the audio. Right, he's in a good mood. Okay. Let's try talking to him then. Danny. No. Tell me your troubles, man. About those troubles. Troubles? Ha! I don't want to talk about all that depressing stuff. I want to party! Right. So maybe we need to make him sad? Can we interrupt him halfway through? Guess we. Oh, yeah, it does. Um, happy song, secret song, sad song. Let's do sad song. Let's see if that works. It's bound to be something to do with this, isn't it? Because he's reacting to the music. Okay. 
Yes, he's making him sad. So I wonder if he's sad, if he'll want to talk about what's on his mind. Danny. You. Tell me the troubles. About those troubles. It all started on... Uh, yes. Uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys. When this... You had to make him sad. car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and <laughs> ran my car off the road. No. Then Can't later, believe it. I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't Ooh. your fault. And so that's Artie then, I'm guessing. Off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and It was us. We did do it. <laughs> that's unbelievable. I thought it was going to be that. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. Oh. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Nothing wrong with standing by Betty, a man. As in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, uh, Dan, it's huh. really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, Don't worry about that. Sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. And what would that secret be? You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. Oh, you're my friend, friend as well, <laughs> ma'am. Right, so he doesn't want so to tell us now. Secret. I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. Okay, so see you later, Danny. I'll be here. We're gonna have to change the music again. I wonder if it's the secret song. I was gonna try the angry song next, but seeing as he's gonna tell us a secret, let's try the secret song. It's probably gonna be this, right? He's gonna tell us a secret because the music's about telling secrets. Digging the music in this game. It's quite cool. Whisper in my ear so no one can hear. Secrets are for sharing love. They're not meant for blaring love. Whisper in my ear so no one can hear. Right. Tell me your secrets, ma'am. Whisper in my ear. Let me Hopefully that's put him in the mood to spill the beans. Don't make it for Danny. You. Yeah, your new best friend. Um, so can you tell us about secret. the secret now? Oh, yeah, my secret. Well, you're my pal. <laughs> so so suggestible. You, but don't let it get out. I won't. I've been working for you can trust me. For over a month now. What? Oh. It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and tan him. Make sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my paying board. Great deal, huh? So he's enabling it. No, it's not. No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? What about Artie McFly? What about Artie McFly? Hasn't he been missing for two months? That's true, and all signs point to a tannin job. Exactly. Oh god, I've made a horrible mistake! You have. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back! But when well, she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. Hopefully that's not what true. What have I done? <laughs> uh, come on, man, pull yourself together. Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad. I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> right, okay, so we're going to have to change the music again then to get there, to Danny. give him some sort of oh, courage, God. I guess. So I think we'll have to leave it there because we are out of time. So we'll do that in the next one. We'll go straight across and change the music again to try and get him his courage back. Uh, but that is going to do it for this one. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.
If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.